right there it is everything's off now comes the fun part just trying to see what's going on inside like i told you guys earlier um it didn't want to spin so my guess is that there's a lot of carbon build up um don't know won't know until i actually open it but it does have some end play so so that's a good indication that the bearings might still be good so that's right now that's what i'm really worried about just having to redo the bearings but there it is all right next All right, we're at the final stage, so um, the moment of truth, guys. Uh, hopefully, this end is not too bad. There it goes. And that's why it wasn't spinning. Everything seized up. But check out those bearings. Nice. Yeah, these seals, this this is this rotor's no good, but I do have a good set, so um there we go. So, yeah, that's the bad news, that rotor's uh, it's no good, but uh, the good news is that it spins now. I didn't want to spin before, and it was because of that rotor. I was hoping it was like carbon buildup or something, but uh, the chrome looks good. Still got to go ahead and measure all the three points for uh, any warpage any corrosion so yeah i'm definitely gonna take my time on this engine but um at least it's spinning now it's not stuck and i could so it was because of that rotor it was just seized up right here um i think i could probably get these lapped so i'm not too worried about it all right next center iron it's definitely gonna need some repair but I don't I don't know I don't see any coolant seal fell there but uh alright next
little better. There's no kind of spring action. It's just yeah, they're, they're stuck in there. All right, next. Outside, but not so pretty from the inside. That's gonna need a lot of work. But I could definitely build one engine out of the two, so I got a lot to work with. Again, big shout out to uh, Mazda Tricks. He did warn me. But um, it's a lot better condition than, than the one that came with the Blue R100, so not to worry about it. This was my main concern, the center shaft, and that's why I really actually bought the, the engine. So, got an eccentric shaft now. All right, there you have it, 10A disassembly. It's not what I was hoping for, but hey, at least I got a nice clean eccentric shaft. And uh, even though the rotors aren't, they don't seem to be reusable. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, leave them soaking in uh, some WD-40 or something and see what happens. But I got these here, so these are in good shape. I can still use these. But yeah, uh, I'm a little bummed out, but uh, Dave did warn me, so I might have a lot of spares left. So I'm definitely gonna be able to build one 10A out of the two. So um, it's a win-win situation. Uh, I was really worried about finding an eccentric shaft. That was my main concern and I, I got one, so. Um, excited about that so yeah so there you go